Hello everyone, welcome back to Salasta, Crown of the Magister and the Hidden Valley. Last time we were spelunking when we were accidentally mobbed by the same beetles that we had lost to in previous spelunks. Is that the, uh, the co technically correct language? I have no idea. But we were going through this cave system looking for loot and treasure and we found quite a lot. It's just that we weren't quite as cautious as perhaps we needed to be. So we're just going to kind of keep mapping this place out, quick saving more often, and seeing if we can't get everything that there is to find in this cave before then getting out unharmed. And then later on, when the time is right, we will come back for the encounters here. So I have no idea how much of a maze these caves come to be in the end through here last time we failed this lockpick check we needed to misty step through the bars let's go in the opposed direction for a minute see what else exists in these parts looks like a large pillar perhaps an old stone or something we can collect from here Nope, we're going to shove that down. Interesting. Are we, like, making cover? Minotaur crossing. Oh, God. Okay, well, give me the gold, the gold, the gold, the darts. And the crafting manual hide armor of the wilderness. Then, mutant minotaurs. Well, that sounds horrific. And they've got the calligraphy underneath that suggests that this is a fight that we cannot win. Unsen, have you got armor that gives you disadvantage? You don't. So just on your own for a hot second. Let's just drop a quick save. See if you can push this over. can right there's a couple of braziers here but not much of anything else it seems i don't know if i'm missing a perception check or something else there's a goblin cutthroat 66 hp easy sure that's easy that is All right, we are just going to attempt to get out of here unharmed because this is not a fight I am prepared for right now. We'll go off in the other direction, pick up what few more bits we can. And then after that's done, we will escape and go off for some other part of our adventure. And if we're unable to make progress in any direction, then I will seriously consider dropping the difficulty. But for right now, let's cast the spell Guidance on Unsen. So that we have extra D4 on our skill check to pick this lock. We rolled a natural one. All right, well... Fortunately for us, we get two shots at this gate. So let's try the other side. There you go, a 9 plus 12. The guidance helping us out there. And now we have all kinds of containers here for looting. We've got an amethyst, we've got a manual boot, crafting manual, boots of fire walking. Probably not a bad thing to have in our inventory, at least once we've had a chance to make them, or perhaps employ someone else to make them. Ball of lightning, that sounds exciting and dangerous, which is the best way for things to exist, obviously. This one... Just a long sword. This one. 
We've got even more food. Always happy for the extra chances to long rest. Particularly when we kind of need to go into every fight just about as well prepared as possible. Scroll of whole person goes to the wizard. Javelins and potions or poisons or acids or something. Let's push this back. I know that there's some armor on a stand up here or something from the last time we came through. We can all get up using that, don't worry. Right, let's see what this is. Clubs and plants, this one. So we came in this way. Minotaur crossing is deadly to us. And so far, we've not missed anything obvious in our travels, which is good. We're going to collect this one. Scroll of Inflict Wounds for the Cleric. And the Copper Key Beetle, of course. Relating to that strange temple that's up across the way. And here we have some magnificent chain mail and a primed great axe. Let's give the magnificent chain mail over to Bjorn. Our AC is currently 15. With this, it is 16. And we can hop on down, push this button. So this armor, I think, is technically light armor rather than medium armor, or medium armor rather than heavy armor, which is convenient. It still has the disadvantage, unfortunately, but it does make it easier for those with minimal armor proficiency to wear more stuff. Right, now one of these directions leads to the cultists or something. And the other one leads to the beetles. So we want to be extra careful here. Make sure we're going in the directions that we at least think we are. Send out Unsen on her own, given she is our rogue. Quick, drop a quick save. Give me the map. So we have out in this direction. I have no idea what's over on this side, I think. I'm a bit lost and turned around from my current knowledge of this cave. We can crawl through here, though. There is a chest. We sent the right person in. Let's get our cleric in here as well, since they can offer some guidance on these lockpick checks. Last thing we want to do is try and pick a lock, fail, and miss by one or two points that we could have succeeded by. Whilst they're coming around, we can see what's in this barrel at the very least. A... Galavan Amaranth. There's a trap. Where? Oh, the chest is trapped. Excellent work. Right, so our first roll will be to disarm the trap. The second one will be to open the chest. So again, cast spell. Guidance here. Do not walk over there. Excuse you, I said do not walk over there. We are going to try and disarm the trap, I hope. I don't see why you didn't try and unpick the trap we knew was there, but never mind. Another scroll of hold person. We can't give that to the wizard because the wizard is too far away. Primed heavy crossbow. Could be of interest. Let's push over to this chest, see if it too is trapped. No warnings. Guidance over here once more. 
just in case. Right, we've got an amethyst and a beautiful pendant. Some kind of magic item, I hope. Let's get back out of this cave. Push ourselves to this corner. We'll get these two to come meet us in the middle. God damn it, we weren't sneaking. We did just quick save though. What are you? Are you the Minotaurs from around the corner? God damn it, they probably are, aren't they? Well, this one's not, but the other one certainly appears to be. Okay, let's give this as good a shot as we can. Bjorn is currently behind there. I doubt... Well, we can't even move to here. And I take it we're not going to get line of sight through this hole. So instead... Are you undead? One of you was a mutant, not a zombie, weren't you? So I don't think turn undead is going to do anything for us. How about then? A spiritual weapon. That'll be a good start. Select destination or target for an attack. Can we not see this creature? That's why we can't attack it. I can see this tile to move it. Not sure. In any case, it's ready for next time. Right, and let's ready a ranged attack, just in case we do get line of sight on something. Here comes the goblin. Right, we are not going to be fast enough to get around this corner, are we? But we are still hidden. Question is, will Unsen be able to do anything about this? Let's dash. We can push forward a bit until we're not seen. Prepared for the next turn, at the very least, I hope. And why not put our weight of justice on for next turn? Okay, that ruined our stealth. We are going to dash as well, up to here. We will probably put ourselves within range of Guluk so that we have the ability to defend one another with our shields. This guy comes running. This is the big threat. Here, I don't know if the spiritual weapon counts as an ally, but at the very least, we want to step out so that Bjorn can get out next time. And then we're going to attack. 13 is a miss. We miss with our ready to attack action. We miss with our opportunity attack. They charge and hit us for 36 damage. This is going to be a fast one, isn't it? You don't mind being on your knees, do you? Now is not the time for that kind of thing. It really, really, really isn't. Right, now we can finally... Why can I not attack with this spiritual weapon? Is what I really want to know. I can clearly see this creature. I do not understand. Cast spell... Second level guiding light. 16 damage is but a sliver. Still can't seem to hit with that. Goblin is no bother. Alright, 
We're going to rush in to this tile here so we can defend with our shield. Shield up and attack with advantage. Double 19s. I trained hard for this. This one is restrained. Jaina. Since all of our scorching rays will be at advantage, let's go with that. Lucky, perhaps. And we'll get within some kind of a defensive range. Although, if they charge us in a line, we might have a problem. Okay, we're we're all right. We're we're all right. I probably should have put more defense into this, but we're going to attack here. Well done. There's the sneak attack we wanted. Then we can cunning action disengage. Move ourselves over to here. Outside of striking range, I hope, but still with it able to be defended. They're going reckless. I think they rolled double ones, which is a treat. This spiritual weapon is completely broken, it seems. Um, right, let's get in here. Next time. That's not going to do it. Yeah, spiritual weapon just completely busted at the moment. That's smart. Right, good luck. We are just attacking. 13 is a miss. We are going to use power spell shield on Unsen. Get some HP back. Uh, attack of opportunity. Strike it. Makes its wisdom save. It's going to charge. Defend. Excellent. Right. We are now going to step in to try and sneak attack. Not great off of 2d6, but I will take it. And let's disengage again. Put ourselves one tile away. Block your attack. Doing good work with the disadvantage. These are not the spells I think we need. Although, is this bless? This is bless. Let's bless everyone. That's 1d4 to our attack rolls. Still can't do anything with this thing, and I hate it. Like, that's so many attacks we could have possibly had. Might not doing great work for us. Ansen is unconscious. Yeah, I should have guessed that they would have had really high con. Eight damage on an opportunity attack is good. Are they charging Unsen? Jesus! What was that? Hold, hold on. Go back, go back. Critical hit, I guess it was a critical hit. Critical hit against a downed hero. And that is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 D8 damage. All right, I'm just going to reload, I think. Let's just reload our quick save here. We'll get back to exploring and not dying to giant colossal creatures.
Okay, so we came through here. I will gather up the same supplies as a moment ago. Oh, right. It is a pyrapat of health. Is that the one I want? Is that con set to 17 or something? Because if it is, that is exactly what I've been asking for. I'm into the diseased condition type. It's not what I've been asking for. Alright, that's that one open. Now we have this trapped one. We need to do... Now, I don't know why. This is as it is. But let's get our dwarf, who I think should be immune to poison to open this. They're also the one that spotted it, but I don't know why we aren't doing this. We are now poisoned, no longer poisoned. Right, let's then get Unsen back on this chest. Then we can cast Spell. Concentration loss, yes. We want to concentrate on somebody else. Then we want to open this. And we've gotten everything that we want out of this chamber. Let's get everyone cautious again. Now, there's a Minotaur that's basically on patrol there. So, if we can get everyone out, I think we're going to be leaving this cave shortly. The only other thing we could do is perhaps if we had an invisibility spell for Unsen or something. Because we can sneak. If we just want to maybe peek what's going on here. There's the Minotaur. There's a cliff with a rock up it. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. They freaking saw me, man. I was so far away. I mean, it doesn't appear that there's anything particularly interesting up here. Good climb animation, though. All right, load me. Load, quick save. Quick save, five. All right, we'll give it one more go. Do you see me? This is where, this is the limit of where you come and stand, right? So if we just walk forward one step at a time. No, walk back, you butt. All right, it's time for us to get out of this cave. That is all there is to it now. I don't know if we're expected to be able to beat these encounters at this stage, but I'm certainly not able to. Let's just peek this last direction. I know this goes towards the other entrance. But let's see if we can get through without alerting anyone else to our presence. He's up there where the cultists and stuff are. One of these locations has cultists. One of them has strange beetle things. And if we can't get past either of those, we can go all the way back to the way we came in. This is not cultists. At least not yet. That's... Oh, orcs. That's it. So there's orcs, and then down here somewhere, there are beetles. And none of those two are fights that I can beat right now. So I think we're just going to head back on out of the cave the way we came in. And that is going to be the end of our current spelunking adventure. Just around here, I should spy a beetle. 
There he is. Right, giant beetle. We are going to get out of here. So, can we fast travel to the waterfall entrance without getting into a fight? We can. Take me out of this place. This is going to stick us back out in the area where we fought the direwolves and stuff. All right. We are back out in what I hope is relative safety. If we go back to the map, we can see there's the giant enclave. That's the exit to the valley. This is where we can go and sell a bunch of stuff at the outpost. And we're just underneath here. And the entrance where we came in. All right. So I think we're going to take a long rest there. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.